what the events are on the building. This is a peak. This is because it's higher. It's, it's higher and so more up. Even though I would like to call this closer to the head, I'd like to call it cranial. It's called the anterior superior iliac spine. Why would you call this a superior iliac spine? Why would you use that term? Why would you say superior? Teller condyle, but Teller would slide up in there, but this tendon uses it also to, to guide the, and, and see back at this thing, is, that's one of the problems that you were facing, is you were facing issues because this groove to hold the tendon in, tendon in place, if it doesn't come, go to the right tuberosity on the tibia, it's like trying to pull your knees apart. Totally seeing it, just real quick. Anywhere you see a projection, a spine, a line, probably a tendon or muscle attaches. Think that through. Think that through. I really like hands-on because it's sort of different from what, say, school systems really offer. Most of their lessons often tends to be textbook learning, memorization, but here, it's really different because even though there are still technical terms that you need to memorize and learn, it really helps to have an actual visualiz visualization there and to actually sort of do it yourself. You sort of steer your own knowledge. You get to sort of set your own pace and really it's, it's more about you and your understanding about the human body here. on your leg. Feel your laterals. What is this muscle? Ah, it's not intravenous because another muscle is covered. I love this kind of teaching. We do not have it in Germany, so it's very kind of different. And um, I think I learned so much here this week. I've never learned so much in biology in one week. And I'm very interested. And uh, I got first I got some problems with the English words because in German we have it all different. But I just wrote it down and looked it up. And now it's very fine. I'm getting the point there. Uh, here, so if you got two muscles uh, next to each other. When you got something in your hand then you can feel it then you can feel the structure you, you're building the structure on your own and then it get, and and then your head knows maybe a little bit better how it may look in your body so i think that's the point john is catching us but yeah Actually, you know, sometimes in our schools we continuously learn using books and all that. And you need to do that because to score marks. But sometimes learning should be an innovative and creative learning. Because when you are making the thing with your own hand, means you are getting a feeling of what you are making. And since I am not making it just for an art, I am also understanding the parts that we are making. So it's great to do it. In your book, it is 2D. And when you are making it, it's three-dimensional. So obviously it's getting better in my head. Look at this, you guys. I told you there are three bones in the hip bone, yes? When you're a baby, there are three bones. I think it's a pretty interesting and pretty new style of learning. I did not know this before. It's like feeling it like from childhood on you, everything. The first thing you do is touching everything and putting it into your mouth. And it's and not with the mouth, but it's the same. You touch everything and you feel it. That's pretty nice. I have an idea in my head of how things look, but being able to put it on like a natural skeleton like this one really helps with my understanding of the topic. Well, you know, I'm really into it. Like, I love playing with clay because like, art is really therapeutic for me, you know, painting and stuff. So I love just being able to mold and create whatever pops in my head while also learning about, you know, my favorite su subject, anatomy. Yeah, it's awesome. And on the other leg, the other leg.
was really good because our teacher John teaches us so well means you know means I just cannot understand how he remembers so many things means like means whatever about anatomy you ask him about he can answer if each and every question means it's like means he's reading his own means everything is written in his hand he's just reading it and telling you but means I just cannot understand how he knows so much and it will and it was and it has been a great week.